To write the name for Cr2CO33, we first need to recognize that the CO3, this is the carbonate ion. In fact, we have three carbonate ions. So we have the carbonate ion, and that's bonded to a transition metal. So we have the chromium. This is a metal, a transition metal, and some nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. We're going to think about charge when we write the name. Chromium, because it's a transition metal, we really can't tell the charge on each chromium atom by just looking at it. We have to see what it's bonded to, in this case, the carbonate. So to write the name, we're going to write chromium. And then the CO3, that's the carbonate ion. So we just write carbonate, lowercase c. So at this point, we have chromium carbonate. But we said chromium is a transition metal. So we have to show that in the name. We have to show the charge for the chromium in the name. Carbonate always has a 2 minus ionic charge. That's the whole carbonate. And since we have three of them, 3 times 2 minus, that's 6 minus. For the chromium to be 6 plus and everything to add up to 0, give us a net charge of 0, 2 times 3 plus, that'll give us 6 plus. So the ionic charge on each chromium atom is 3 plus. And then in the name, we write chromium 3, Roman numeral in parentheses, to show that the chromium atom, each one, has an ionic charge of 3 plus. That makes the name for Cr2CO3 3, chromium 3 carbonate. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.